All right, welcome everyone to the virtual college exploration for all West Virginia students sponsored by the West Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, just a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. Uh, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type the questions to our presenters at any time. Uh, your camera and microphone are off, uh, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. Uh, this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at wvacrao.org. Uh, the presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same time, excuse me, at that same website, wvacrao.org. Uh, now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. All right. Hello, everyone, and, and welcome to Eastern West Virginia Community and Technical College's Zoom webinar. We're glad to see all of you and, and, and see a lot of potential students that might be coming here. Uh, my name, like I said, is Curtis Hackler. I'm the Dean of Teaching and Learning here. Um, today's presentation will be about 45 minutes long. Uh, like you might have heard, the first 35 minutes will be straight presentation. The last 10 minutes will be a Q&A session. So if you have any questions, uh, during the, the 35 minute presentation, just make sure you click on the Q&A chat button at the bottom. Um, Morgan Branson, our public relations manager, is going to be manning uh, the, the chat or Q&A button. So if you have any questions, hopefully we'll get to them quickly. Uh, here's some trivia about Eastern West Virginia Community and Technical College. You probably didn't know Eastern is the smallest community college in West Virginia, which allows us to give a lot of individual student attention. And if you come to Eastern, you're going to get to know your fellow students and your instructors pretty well. So that's one of the strong points of coming to Eastern is that we're small and you'll get a lot of individualized attention. Along with that, we're also the youngest community college in the, in the state. Uh, we opened in 1999. And so in 2019, we kind of celebrated our 20 year anniversary. Uh, so we're still pretty young. And, and a final thing I think that's interesting is that we're in the Potomac Highlands, I think the most beautiful part of the state. So if you're into outdoor activities, hiking, biking, canoeing, kayaking, this is the place for you. Uh, we've got, you know, Seneca Rocks, Spruce Knobs in our service region. So if you're in outdoors, this is a great place to think about attending college. Um, before we get into kind of the nuts and bolts about Eastern, in our programs, we're going to show a quick 30 second uh, clip that kind of you can use as a reference reference points to Eastern and, and gives a little overview of our college. At Eastern, we are here to enhance your future and help you reach your career goals. Earn your certificate or degree and go straight into the workforce or prepare for university transfer. Train in programs that fuel your passion. Learn the medical industry or how to start a business or how to work in an industrial career. Money is available to pay for college to those who qualify. Visit easternwv.edu to get started. Good evening, my name is Monica Wilson and I am Dean of Student Access and Success. And just, you know, Curtis did uh, hit some of the highlights about Eastern. Uh, we are fully accredited uh, by the Higher Learning Commission North Central Division. Uh, we have very small class sizes. As you can see, our student teacher ratio is 12 to one. So you have that individuality with your instructor and with your course as well. Um, we have a lot of peer tutoring um, so, you know, we see a lot of students on campus, um, you know, helping each other out in the classroom uh, because we are so small and it feels like a family. We do have flexible semester scheduling. Um, we have day, evening, hybrid, and online classes. So there's something to, feed, to meet everybody's needs. We are the most affordable in West Virginia, but we're also transferable and accessible. So um, we do service six counties, and as you can see, it's Grant, Hampshire, Hardy, Mineral, Pendleton, and Tucker County. All right, at Eastern, we have a lot of programs of study that can meet your individual needs. We offer a lot of certificate and AAS programs if you wanna kind of get your degree or certificate and get right into the workforce and start working right away. We also have individualized degrees 
that are made kind of for transfer students that want to go to four-year colleges. If you look in the second column on your screen there, the Associate in Arts degree is one of those transferable degrees. So if you want to finish up a four-year degree after leaving Eastern, a lot of students get their Associate in Arts degree with a general concentration. So if you're interested in English, history, journalism, pre-law, psychology, sociology, you know, these, this is the type of degree you, you could get at Eastern and then transfer to a four-year school. Associates of Science is kind of similar in that way too. Uh, in that if you're going to a four-year school, it's good uh, for students that are interested in engineering, mathematics, um, natural and physical sciences and biology, things like that. So those are the two degrees that a lot of students choose if they're transferring to a, a four-year institution. Another thing you probably need to know about Eastern that a lot of our, our, our credits do transfer as, as kind of general studies credit. So if you're looking to get a lot of your gen ed classes uh, knocked out before going to a four-year school and, and paying kind of a, a lot higher tuition, Eastern is a good place to do that. You know, our, our, our classes do transfer. Uh, we do have a core coursework transfer agreement with most of the colleges or all the colleges in West Virginia. So you take classes at Eastern, they will transfer to other schools in the state. Uh, if you want to look at the Certificate in Associates in Applied Science on the right hand of the screen, uh, we've got some real interesting degrees there. One of the most uh, innovative, I think, in the state is our Wind Energy Technology degree. You can get a one-year certificate in that or a two-year degree. Um, if you don't know anything about wind energy technology, it's really for wind turbine technicians that go work on the turbines and kind of repair anything that goes wrong with them. If you've ever been out west from the mid Midwest or even you know, up around our part of West Virginia, you'll see a lot of these huge wind turbines on the top of mountains. So this is a great kind of uh, program to kind of learn those type of skills. We're kind of the only program in the state our only school in the state that offers a wind energy technology program. We're one of the few on the East Coast. So if you go in the wind energy technology, the job markets are really good. They're looking for something like a 180% increase in, in jobs in the wind technician field through 2024. So you get a degree in wind energy technology, you're going to get hired probably locally and definitely in the Midwest or out West because they're always looking for people to kind of be wind energy turbine technicians. Not only does the wind energy program kind of focus on, on turbine technology, but it also focuses on industrial maintenance. So if you wanted to fix equipment in a factory, for example, at Pilgrim's Pride, America's Woodmark, or some big corporation that has industrial maintenance needs, this degree will, will serve that as well. So you learn a lot of PLCs, ACDC circuitry, pneumatics, hydraulics, things like that. Another interesting program that we have is our nursing program. We have probably, depending on where you reference, one of the, the top nursing programs in the state uh, for getting your RN degree. Uh, it is a 20 student cohort. It kind of goes through every two years. It's very competitive and you have to apply to get in the nursing program. But those students that are interested in nursing often come here uh, to get some of their general work done. They will get an associate in arts and probably an allied health certificate. This will help them build points towards their application. So they'll have a, a much easier time of getting into, into nursing programs, not only ours, but others throughout the state. Uh, one of the, the new things that's happened with one of our programs is business management. Our business management program, uh, AAS program and certificate is offered totally online. So if you're kind of wanting to stay at home and can't come to physical classes, you can get your business management degree at Eastern completely online. All the classes are offered online uh, and this will allow you to kind of work from the comfort of your home and get your degree in business management. Uh, other important degrees uh, or, or degrees that, that are kind of new that we've restarted is automotive technology. So if you're interested in becoming an automotive technician, technician we rebooted that program and are starting it again this fall. So we're kind of excited about that. There aren't many automotive technology uh, programs in this part of the state. So this gives an opportunity for people that are looking to get a technician job and kind of place or start thinking about passing their ASC certifications. Eastern's a great place to start with that as well. Uh, we have a lot of business degrees, as you can see here, uh, accounting, administrative support technology, 
uh, business management that I referenced before. So if you're interested in any kind of business programs, we have a lot of those as well. Uh, if you're interested in early childhood development, we have a, a two-year degree in that as well. So if you want to be uh, working in a daycare center as a teaching assistant or you know, any kind of a job like that, this is a good place to start. Um, you know, one of the cool things we have is a two plus two agreement in elementary education with Shepherd University. So if you're interested in, in teaching at an elementary school, you can get your first two years done here at Eastern and they will count towards Shepherd's elementary education program when you transfer there. So it's a good place to start in the region if you wanna be an elementary school teacher. We also have certificates, which you can see on the right-hand side, which are basically one-year degrees. So if you just want to come for a year and kind of learn about electrical me mechanical technology, again, industrial maintenance, you can get a certificate in one year and enter the, with the workforce. Uh, if you're interested in kind of designing websites or managing databases, a computer application specialist position or, or certificate is good for that as well. If you're looking for an entry-level position in the health field, Allied Healthcare certificate is great for that as well. Um, we do have some customized degree programs. Uh, Monica, you met earlier, knows more about the Board of Governors degree, but if you're someone that, you know, is two years out from high school graduation, you can apply some of your work experience and get college credit for that in our Board of Governors degree, along with having a more flexible kind of degree where you can kind of pick and choose what kind of classes you want and get certain concentrations in a Board of Governors degree as well. Um, along with kind of our certificate and AAS degrees, we have workforce uh, training, which kind of focuses in on short term training. So if you wanted to come in, get a quick training and enter the workforce, we can do that too. We have a certified nursing assistant kind of workforce program. We have medical assistant, phlebotomy, paramedics, dental assisting, uh, residential care specialists, welding. Uh, all these are kind of workforce department trainings that you can get quick uh, learning in and again, get a job in the market. Thanks, Curtis. I'm Chip Boyer. I'm the student program advisor here at Eastern. And I wanted to talk a little bit about paying for college. So this graphic is a great illustration that shows that Eastern is the most affordable tuition in the state of West Virginia. So um, our in-state uh, per credit is 157. If you, for some reason, are viewing this from out of the state, it's 355. But the, the point to really look at is that last column of full-time tuition for in-state. And you can see what it is at Eastern and some of the other community colleges, as well as a four-year institution. Of course, one of the things that is crossing uh, lots of uh, high school students' minds and maybe more so their parents' minds is how am I going to pay for college? And this next slide really looks at some of our funding streams uh, that's available to you. So um, paying for college has gotten a lot easier because there's a lot of these funding streams available uh, one of those is through grants, whether it's the federal Pell Grant or the West Virginia Higher Education Grant or our fairly new West Virginia Invest Grant Program, which I'll speak about um, in a few moments. The great thing about a grant is while you live up to the expectations of the grant, um, you don't have to pay that money back. Uh, another funding stream is scholarships and Eastern has uh, <laughs> accepts the uh, Promise Scholarship, as well as has uh, traditional student scholarships. We also have some non-traditional, so maybe some parents out there are thinking about coming back to school. Um, that we have some scholarships available for you and a number of specialty scholarships, a specific program that you're looking uh, to, to be part of. Another thing that we uh, can do is help you with loans, uh, whether that is a subsidized loan or an unsubsidized loan. And we also are uh, eligible uh, to provide uh, federal work study funding. And so that's where you actually work for the college and earn a paycheck. Uh, so that's a great program. We also have some other third-party programs. We have a veterans benefit uh, program here that uh, 
we have a specialist here on staff that can help you if you're a veteran looking to take advantage of those benefits. Uh, also maybe through the VOC rehab program or the workforce investment boards. But all of these funding opportunities, the first thing that has to happen is you have to complete your FAFSA. The FAFSA, which is the, uh, I always write it down because I, I wanna change the word. So let me make sure I say it correctly. Uh, the FAFSA is the uh, federal, aid, fe federal application for student aid. FAFSA is so much easier to say. So the FAFSA uh, is really the, the catalyst or the first domino that you've got to knock down. And you can actually start filling out your FAFSA right now for the 2021-2022 academic year. Um, that's going to be based on your family's income, your federal income taxes from 2019. So that's something, again, that you uh, can get started right now in preparing for the, the fall. Um, our financial aid team here is always happy to help uh, with a question or if you're stuck on the FAFSA or if you just need to know how to get started, um, please call our office and uh, ask us for, for help. We'd be happy to do that. And then uh, one of the things that I wanted to speak here last and the very next slide, we'll talk about the West Virginia Invest Program. And that is a, a fairly new grant program here in the state. And it's really catered to colleges just like Eastern, where you would have an opportunity to earn a certificate or a two-year degree and have your tuition costs covered by the grant just for agreeing to live in the state of West Virginia for two years after you complete your degree or leave college. What is a better deal than being basically tuition free to live in the state for a couple more years? And so um, the requirements are fairly easy. You have to have graduated from high school. You can't already have a degree or have attempted 90 hours. You do need to pass a drug screen and each semester you get to do two hours of community service to give back and you have to maintain a 2.0 grade point average but it's an excellent opportunity to have your basic tuition fees covered um, the tuition costs covered for uh, your first two years of, um, of schooling Okay, so you've heard about our programs and you've heard about how to pay for them. Now let's talk about the easy parts, the emissions. Um, it's free to apply. There is no cost to apply for emissions. Um, it, you can apply by going onto our Eastern website, easternwv.edu. You can apply through um, our cfwv.com or straight into our student banner system or there also is a paper form as well. Fill it out, turn it in or once you submit it online, it takes about 24 hours for us to get notification. Once we receive notification uh, regarding your application, we will be sending out emails or phone calls regarding some questions toward your application. Uh, just make sure that we have everything confirmed. Uh, sometimes when you fill um, your application out online, some things get screwed, messed up, or, you know, um, you might place one program, but then you start thinking about, oh, I really want to do this, or you want to do pre-nursing, and we really don't have a pre-nursing program. We actually place pre-nursing students in the Associate of Arts. So sometimes there's a lot of things that I didn't know when I applied to, to college. So uh, the admissions application is easy. Don't stress. We will contact you regarding any questions. Um, test scores. That makes everybody uneasy. Um, I did not like taking any assessments or tests while I was in college. Um, however, these test scores are not required. You, are not, you do not have to go out and take the ACT or SAT. However, we do use scores in math and English as an advising tool. We want to make sure that you succeed in your math and English. So there's several different ways. Most high schools are giving the SAT in their junior year. We can take those scores. We can also look at your high school transcript 
and look at the last two years of your schooling uh, in math and English. And if you have an overall GPA in certain letter grade, we don't have to test you. Also, um, we also provide the AccuPlacer in math and English. And that is something that you would have to come here on campus um, and be by appointment due to COVID. Um, you would have to come in. It's not timed, it's multiple choice, and it's online. Now, also talking about scores. It is nothing to be ashamed of. To me, math was not my strong suit. So as I would want some support. So academic department has created correct classes with our college level math classes. So if you didn't wanna do any of the assessments or you didn't like your AC or SAT scores or your AccuPlacer scores, you can choose to take the support class for math and English along with the college level. So you would have six credit hours in math or English by taking the support class. I think of it as extra tutoring. It's very helpful and very, very beneficial. What type of students do we have here? We have our, your regular college students. We have transfer students that transfer from another university. Um, transfer students would have to provide official college transcripts, no matter if you have any grades or if you withdrew from the other school, we still need that official college transcript sent directly from that institution to Eastern. Transient students, especially during our summer schedule, you know, college students are home and they were still wanting to take a couple classes to get further ahead in their degree program at their other institution they can go to their advisor at that institution and ask, oh, can I take English 102 at Eastern and transfer it back? They could do it over the summer. Very easy, um, very um, same prices, same information that is needed. Um, we would need to see a transient form from your institution approving that equivalency. Conditional students. Conditional students are students that may have not received their high school diploma or a GED. They can come to Eastern and prove themselves of taking a class. The conditional student cannot receive financial aid. Okay, so you would have to pay for this class out of pocket. Early entrance students. Now this is up Chips Alley. Early entrance students, juniors and seniors, there is selected classes at your local high school that you can take for dual credit at a lower cost. They're $40 per credit hour, and most of the courses are three credit hour classes. Um, they are used as dual credit. Um, we will begin um, registering for the spring semester this Thursday, October 22nd. So if you are a junior or a senior and you would like or interested in taking a early entrance class, you will speak to Chip Boyard or Charles um, regarding a early entrance class. Also check with your counselor at your high school. They have all the information that has, Chip has provided to them. Um, as an early entrance student, um, we have had several high school students not only earn their high school diploma, but also receive and earn their associate's degree. So think of that as an accomplishment all it's in itself. So, Early entrance classes, along with regular student classes, transfer students, transient students, we can help you in whatever educational go that you um, are looking at. Life at Eastern. Uh, we do have some student organizations. Once you enroll at Eastern, uh, we do have the Student Government Association. We call it SGA. Um, you're automatically a member. Congratulations. Um, we also have PTK or Phi Theta Kappa. It is a honor society here at the community college. It is um, in regards to GPA and um, how many credit hours that you have completed so far. We also have a art society. Um, they look into more of photography, poetry, um, short essays, um, artwork in all matters like oil paintings and things like that. The Art Society produces a magazine once a year. 
we something that was just created um, was the sketch club, which is a drawing club, and then a gaming guild. The gaming guild is a virtual, as of right now, uh, a virtual gaming for our students. Um, and then we also have some other um, activities like community events. We have career quests. We have trunk and treat that's coming up in two weeks. We have diversity presentations um, like Harriet Tubman, um, information regarding understanding addiction or suicide prevention. All of these workshops are free to attend, um, whether it's virtually or live on campus. So we do try to provide monthly student activities for free for our students. What services for students can we provide? We do have tutoring. Um, we do purchase uh, a yearly 22 free hours per student at tutor.com. And then we also hire work studies as peer tutors. So that could be in math, English, business, computers, um, science. Uh, maybe you just need a study buddy. Uh, maybe you need help with note assisting. We have those services here. We also have Degree Works. Degree Works is a program evaluation that not only your advisor and yourself can take a look at each semester of how you're progressing toward your degree. Degree Works is a very active and live program. So you can see once you enroll in a class, where does it fall in line in your program outline? We also have Grad Cast where you can submit your resume and cover letter and it will be submitted or distributed to 100 employers. So this helps you try to get that job or that dream job that you would like. Online registration and other self services. Yes, you can register online, you can apply online, you can submit your FAFSA or financial aid documents online. So there's a lot of things that we have tried to create to make a better service for you. You're working, um, you have extracurricular activities. We know you are busy. All right, well, life after Eastern. What happens after you decide to leave? Well, like we talked about before, there is a core coursework transfer agreement with all the other West Virginia colleges. So Eastern's credits do transfer as general studies credits to all other institutions in the state. Um, and these, these credits will kind of satisfy general education requirements at, at all West Virginia colleges. You can see a list of kind of some of the universities that a lot of our students transfer to, you know, WVU, Shepherd, Marshall, Franklin, APU, and Southern New Hampshire University. We also have kind of articulation agreements with these schools and a lot of others throughout the state. So for example, if you decided to go to Shepherd, again, I kind of highlighted that we had a two plus two agreement with them in elementary education. But also if you graduate from Eastern and hit a certain GPA threshold, you can get scholarship awards to attend Shepherd from anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000, depending on what your GPA is. You can also get a $1,000 housing grant if you decided to go to Shepherd and you graduated from Eastern. Um, another interesting thing Shepherd does is they offer kind of free on-campus on housing for students who register for six or more credits in the summer. So you have a lot of neat things with Shepherd going on. Um, personally, I kind of wish that I would have gone to a community college before going to a four-year school because I am still paying off my uh, school loan debt. So, if I was smarter, a younger person, which I wasn't, I would have gone to a community college, saved a lot of money, and I would not be paying my school loans as we speak. But, you know, hindsight is 2020. Um, and there's some other interesting kind of uh, articulation agreements we have with Southern New Hampshire University. So if you get your degree here, we've got straight articulation agreements where you can go in and get your BS in accounting. Uh, your BS in a business administration, a BA in psychology, a BA in criminal justice, and a BA in human services. You know, so for example, if you attend somewhere like uh, Marshall University, we do have a kind of a general articulation agreement with them where specific classes of theirs are lined up with ours. And it, it pretty much goes through our whole catalog. So Marshall is another place that a lot of people go to uh, after they leave here. Franklin University, 
Uh, it's an online uh, university in, in Ohio. We have a lot of students, especially in business, that go to Franklin after here. If you go to Franklin after graduating here, you, you get started as, as a junior right away. And in a lot of these schools, that's the case. When you get out of Eastern, you can go in as a junior. Uh, at least, uh, you know, in all of these, these, these schools. So, you know, Eastern has a lot of things, not only if you want to transfer to one of these universities, but also if you want to kind of get out and get a job right away, you know, we're going to help you find that job. Um, you know, especially in certain programs like wind energy technology, if you get a wind energy technology degree, you know, you will get help on your resume. Um, we even do some kind of like pre-interview kind of tips and techniques with some of the graduates in that program so they're ready and know what to do when they kind of go for a job interview. Um, so at Eastern, we do have a, a ton of opportunities for you after you leave Eastern. And the great thing about Eastern is that we're small and we can really work with you on an individual basis to kind of get the support you need to get into that four-year school you're looking to or to find that job you're looking for. So we're kind of dogmatic in that if you come here as a student, you're going to get a lot of help. So that's what we hear a lot after students kind of leave Eastern and go somewhere else. They're like, wow, uh, you know, I'm not getting quite as much personal attention as I used to. So that's one thing Eastern does really well. We can help you with a lot of different things. Learner Support Services is here and transition you from life at Eastern to another college or into the workforce. They do a really great job with that. And the support system is all here for you to kind of be successful and move on with your career or your educational pathways. Um, I think now uh, that's that's pretty much all I have on life after Eastern. Um, if anybody has any questions, uh, this is the kind of time to kind of do that. So you, anybody wants to enter a question in the Q&A, <laughs> link there. We're more than happy to answer some of those questions if you have them. Chip, do you want to explain uh, part-time funding? Sure. I thought um, it might be helpful to know that there is a financial aid if you're attending full-time, but also if you're attending part-time. So um, that was something that I, I saw come across and thought that'd be something that uh, I should I should share. So you have both of those options. Anybody else want to add any other tidbits? Just to explain, we, have, we do have new student orientation. Um, and just explain, we it's called a one-stop shop. Um, once you apply and we reach out to you regarding um, if you need help with completing your FAFSA, uh, we do have one-stop shops where we can make you appointments. Uh, we do have to follow COVID guidelines at the moment. Um, so we would make you an appointment to come in, meet with FAFSA or the financial aid office, complete your FAFSA, meet with your advisor, register, register for classes, um, get your photo ID and order your books all in one day. Um, if you do need AccuPlacer testing, we could do it all on the same day, or we can uh, make your uh, AccuPlacer assessment on a different day. Um, but normally for one-stop shops, we do all the above and you're in and out um, within three hours. So just to let you know about our one-stop shop after you apply for admissions. For more information, um, as you can see, there's our website, easternwv.edu. You can also email at eastern at easternwv.edu. There is our 434-8000 number, and then also our toll-free number, 877-982-2322. Um, also like us on Facebook. We post a lot of community events and activities um, that is open to the community or to the public as a whole. Um, feel free to like us on Facebook, um, Instagram. So 
Twitter. All right, I'm looking at our like attendees and it's just us now. <laughs> All right, if, if you guys are, are done if you want to uh stop early we can it's totally up to you but that's not uh you know that's not mandatory or anything but i didn't want, want you to feel pressure totally up to you guys yeah let go me, ahead and end it yeah okay all right all right well let me get my screen ready sure see you, alan <laughs> see you guys later thanks a lot Thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. Uh, we appreciate any feedback you can provide. Uh, also, this was just one of many sessions uh, being hosted. Uh, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions at WVACARAO.org. In about a week, you will be able to find the sessions recording as well as all, all the other session recordings at WVACARAO.org. All right, thank you. Thanks. Check you later. <laughs>